Well, we have a, an issue here with this ewe that's obviously just about to lamb. She's uh, got dystocia. Dystocia meaning lambing difficulties. So the lamb has been able to get its head through uh, the vulva opening. However, there is a, a, a jam here. There's a blockage likely to be uh, the front legs not in the right position. The lamb has to be in a, a particular position to be able to move out easily. So if you look down towards the, the rear end of the sheep, you can see the lamb's head. It is definitely still alive. So we're going shaking its head already. So I'll ask Kim if I swap position. Kim is going to move to the rear and try and find the back legs, or the front legs, sorry, of the lamb. <laughs> Obviously there's not a lot of room to work with, but the front legs hooked in the wrong position. We've got to get the front, the hoof or the tip of the leg out underneath the, the head of the sheep, of the lamb. There we go. Here we go. That's released it. I can feel a heartbeat, and it's still warm. I'll try and clear the airway. Giving it every chance we can to start breathing properly. He is breathing, shallow breathing. Oh, that's good. Okay, he's got he's got air into his lungs. Very good sign. Very good sign. And if you are able to turn and look around to the mother, she has the placenta, part of the placenta hanging from the vulva. She's not wandering too far away. She'll come back here as soon as we leave the area. She'll come back and start feeding the lamb the important first milk called colostrum. <coughs>